going on everybody? This is Cloud Makes the Switch and how y'all doing? I just got win that. That Nintendo announced their online services. Let's take a look into this stuff, boys. First of all, Nintendo Switch on oh wait, that's not the first article we gotta talk about. First article is Nintendo Switch Online Pricing in Europe announced. Nintendo of Europe has followed suit this morning and also announced Nintendo Switch Online. The wording is pretty much exactly the same as Nintendo of America's announcement, so it appears that the online service will have the same features across all countries. The price of the service is also comparable. It'll cost four euros for one month and eight euros for three months and twenty euros for twelve months. The price the arrow price will be announced at a later date. Also, there's something Oh, sorry. I think it's this one we're going to cover first. The Nintendo Switch online details have been revealed. $20 a year, and it's also free till 2018. So, dab and shout out to Nintendo because they were actually going to be like the ones that was like, um, they said Nintendo online would be free until like the summer or autumn of this year. And now they're like, you know what? 2018. We're going to get people addicted to our online service, and then we're going to reel them in for the fish money grabs. But... $20 a year, boys, is freaking nothing. Microsoft, it's like 60. Sony, it's like 60. This is only 20 bucks a year. You could afford that. I don't want to hear it. Brand new details have just been revealed for Switch Paid Online Service, now known as Nintendo Switch Online. The highlight of today's news con concerns pricing. You'll need to fork over 20 a year, which is four a month or eight for three months. The service will be free until 2018. Switch players who subscribe will be able to participate in online multiplayer gaming, which is a must if you're going to play ARMS and Splatoon. And use a dedicated smartphone app for online play sessions. Classic with added online player reconfirmed, including Super Mario Bros. 3, Balloon Fight, Dr. Mario, eShop discounts will be offered too. Get the full loadout on Nintendo Switch below. The pay service let Nintendo Switch owners enjoy multiplayer gaming, as well as dedicated smartphone apps that connect to your Nintendo Switch system. It helps you connect with friends for online play sessions. Check back for more details on the service before the official launch. Free until 2018, you'll be able to play compatible co-op and competitive games online by signing in with your Nintendo account. Online play will be free until 2018. After the free trial, most gamers will require a paid online service from Nintendo in order to play. The service is only for Nintendo Switch. It doesn't affect Wii U or 3DS. I guess they'll stay free. Coming in 2018 is an online lobby and voice chat. A smart device app will connect to Nintendo Switch and let you invite friends, set appointments, in chat during online matches and games from smart devices. A limited version of this app will be downloaded in 2017. Classic game selection. Subscribers will get to download classic titles such as Mario Pop, Super Mario Bros. 3, Balloon Fight, and Dr. Mario. Nintendo eShop deals. Special offers for subscribers may include discounts, pricing, and that's the pricing we just covered. Make the most. If you're online, you have everything where you would only get this if you're a non subscriber. But most likely we're all going to be subscribers. 20 bucks a year is nothing. Let's get back into some more Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch Online continued access to the library of classic games as long as you're subscribed. Nintendo delivered a new, some new details about the Switch Online service now known as Nintendo Switch Online. Pretty much out of nowhere tonight, Kotaku has some has since sought additional clarification of how the classic games are being dished out. And here's what Nintendo told Kataru. Nintendo Switch Online subscribers will have ongoing access to a library of classic games with added online play. Users can play as many of the games as they want, as often as they like, as long as they have an active subscription. Nintendo Switch Online subscribers will be able to play a wide variety of classic games, including Super Mario Bros. 3, Blue Flight, Dr. Mario. More games will be announced at a later date. And the launch of the classic game library will include NES games, Super NES games, and continue to be under consideration. But we have nothing further to announce this time. So also, not only are you paying 20 bucks a year to play online and use all the online features, you're also playing 20 bucks a year and you can play as much of the NES classic games and possibly Super NES classic games. In other words, the looks of most monthly classic games are going to be replaced with something better. It also sounds like you'll now be able to keep the games as long as you're subscribed. So you stay subscribed, you get to keep them and play them whenever you want. Sort of like how Sony does Plus, Microsoft does games with gold. So that's pretty cool. Also going to get into some more Switch news. Um, let's see. Shantae Hachini Hero on Switch confirmed for June 8th, released in North America. We were talking about this. We found out earlier this week that Shantae Hachini will come into Switch in Europe on June 8th, and America will be getting it the same day. Pretty much the best decision. So if you want your Shantae, pick it up June 8th, because that's when it's coming, just like the European release. Also, we're going to get right back into, do you like some chips? Because if you like chips, you might be able to get a Switch. Frito-Lay's Variety Pack gives away one Switch system every game for $6. Oh my goodness. 
Every hour for six weeks, every hour a Nintendo Switch is going out to somebody that don't have one, or maybe they already have one and they're gonna have two. Yo, get yourself a bag of Frito Lays and try to win a Switch, cause it's one hour a day. One hour a day for six weeks, you can get a Switch. Nintendo is teaming up with Fritos for a big Switch promotion for the next six weeks. Frito-Lay is giving away one Switch system in a game every single hour. Consumers can be on the lookout for specially mocked Frito-Lay variety packs for information about how U.S. residents can enter to win. Doug Bowser, Nintendo America Senior Vice President Sales and Marketing of a new promotion. Nintendo Switch sprung out of the gate as the fastest Nintendo Switch home console in history. It's no secret that snacks and video games is always going together. And this is a great chance for people to get their hands on a Nintendo Switch in a game. Variety packs are sold from 360 to 9. You can find more about the promotion on the official site here. Every hour you can get a Nintendo Switch. I have a Nintendo Switch, but I'm about to try to get another one. I mean, every hour... What is the chances, boys? What are the chances? What are those odds? Let me get one. Let me get Where do I get a code? Let me get a code. Let me get a code. I'm about to get one. I'm about to get one. Anyway, last bit of news that we're going to cover today is ARMS producer ARMS and Breath of the Wild made on the same floor in Nintendo. Would love to see ARMS become an eSport. Now, what is your thoughts on that? I know Etika's trying to be the best min min in the world. I'm probably going to try to get my ribbon girl on. I would love to see ARMS as an eSport because it's just a competitive type game and it would be freaking amazing. Smash is an eSport. Let's get ARMS to be an eSport. I got to get better at Smash. I want to play some ARMS. I can't wait till it comes out. And um, on how much ARMS is luck versus skill, you have, the creator had to say, if Mario has a ratio of 50 for luck to skill, then ARMS maybe has a 20, 80 luck to skill. So meaning 20 for luck, 80 for skill. The game relies heavily on skill. There's a small element of luck in this game, so when you throw your punches, whether or not the player is going to move left or right. Can't say someone's stupid skill will win every time because that's a small element of luck. Arms is thus compared to something like real world tennis where skill won't, won't necessarily win out every time because there's an element of luck in it as well. And what do you think about that below? But hit that subscribe button and stay up to date all things Switch related. I'm Cloud and I made the Switch and so can you. I'll see you in the next video, Switchers. God bless, have a great day, and peace and dub. Uh, yeah.